What is going on guys, this is your boy Astrum Sensei and welcome back to my Unreal Engine Beginner's Guide. If you want to check out the entire series, you can find the link in the description where you can find all of the videos in the Blueprints Basics for Beginners where you can check them all out in the correct order. Order is not really an important thing, but I'm still like focusing on teaching stuff one by one. So I do recommend checking out the entire playlist and just going over everything. And also, before we start, do not hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel for more awesome game development content. And without further ado, let us get started. So in this part, we are going to be checking out something very, very basic called the event tick. It's not going to take too much time, so we are going to quickly check it out and we are I'm just going to show you what it does so that we can move on to the next thing. So as a recap, I told you before that I'm making, like, I made this very empty project, which is the third person template, and we have gone on and created a blueprint actor by going to create a blueprint class and choosing an actor. And inside of this actor, we added a cube to the components, and we learned about the event begin play where it only happens when the game starts. I showed you a way so that you can keep the code running even after the game starts and you know it just wouldn't stop it would keep going back and cycling forever and i told you in the previous part that in this part i'm going to be showing you the event tick so this is the event tick it actually comes with each actor however we can actually delete it and delete the other one that we are not using and we are we can just right click over here to bring up the blueprints browser or whatever this one's called and you can just type event tick so that you can bring it out and here you go we have added an event tick now the event tick is similar to the event begin play where you know it happens by itself so right when the game starts the event begin play happens and the event tick happens but the event begin play happens only once and it just doesn't repeat ever while the event tick happens every single tick and you know it just keeps happening constantly there is no delay between it and there are not, no like seconds between it so it just keeps on happening forever this is actually not going to work with the event tick because we will not be able to show because of the delay how much it happens so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create something called print string and this print string will like what this will do is it will show in the preview a text that will just type a random thing so let's actually try doing the print string with the event begin play first so connect it to the event begin play and you should see what it does right when you start the game so when you hit play oh by the way by the way I forgot to show you that the print string actually says hello so we're gonna see a hello text right when the game starts so we're just gonna put our actor in the game and we're gonna hit play and over here you can see that hello shows up and then it ends and nothing ever happens again now if you go back and connect it to the event tick and compile then you hit play you can see that hello is like constantly happening and it will just keep happening forever and that is actually very useful for testing so if you are testing like any system that you are building you want to use the event tick at first i use it like so many times while building complex systems so the event tick is useful however i do not recommend using it in a final project so for example let me just explain why uh, using the event tick is gonna cost you a lot of performance and it actually matters i said before that that it doesn't matter but it actually does the more stuff you put on the event tick the slower your game is gonna get there can be so many things that you check in the event tick that can actually make your game work better for example if you are locked on like you have a lock on system and you are like every single tick you want to check if you are locked on so that the camera would rotate towards the enemy 
yeah, I actually built a system like that with the event tick. However, I think that it was a horrible choice and I found a much better way to do it. So yeah, you can actually avoid the event tick. And I'm going to show you a very, very basic example of how to do it. So right now, if we hit play, you can see that our code is running and event tick just doesn't stop. And it just constantly says hello over here. And it happens so many times and so, so fast that you really cannot tell and you cannot see like how fast it is, but it's really fast and it's so fast that it will actually hurt your performance. So what you can do instead is similar to what we did over here. You can just add a delay to the event begin play. And this delay will actually be whatever amount you want. So for example, we can make it 0 0.1 seconds and even 0 0.1 is still much slower than the normal event tick. So yeah, you can do it like that. And over here, you can just connect the print string to it and connect the print string back to the delay. And this way you can just hit play and you have avoided using the event tick. But you know, if you are testing something temporarily, you 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 can actually use the event tick, which is fine. But if you have like by the end of your project, I'd really recommend just finding ways and hacks like this to avoid it. 0 0.1 is not a good example because the duration of each print string over here is two seconds, so it just goes way too fast. So if you compile after we changed it to one second, you can see that every one second we will get a new hello and the other one will go away after another second. So yeah, we have actually avoided using the event tick. Now you might be wondering, like, what can we test with the event tick? while we are using it. You can test many, many things. I already told you about the lock on example, but other things you can check. For example, if you are building a health system quickly and you want to check if you are like, if your health is zero or less, you can just check, connect over here, a branch to ask is the health less than zero or equal to zero. And if it is, then you just kill the character and end them. But if it's not, then you do nothing. Or for example, you can check if your stamina is complete, like if it's full, then if it's not, then you can regenerate it slowly. I think that's like the most important use for the event tick, stamina. <laughs> yeah, I know. But yeah, while you are building a stamina system, you'll want to just start by testing it with the event tick, then move in it to find another way to actually um, regenerate the stamina and you can regenerate the stamina with a system similar to this one but connect it to another event instead of the event begin play i'm not going to get into that right now but yeah this is the event tick in a nutshell i really hope you guys enjoyed it and that it was useful if it was do not hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel because we have lots of awesome content coming our way and check out my patreon if you want to get some videos ahead I will see you in the next video guys, take care, have a great day and bye.